location of the artwork is above the entrance to St Stephen's Hall and um, at the turn of the 20th century that was one of the main thoroughfares for women to um, go through to meet their MPs and deliver petitions. What I wanted to do was to create an open portcullis-like structure above the doorway that the glass hangs on um, to show that it's open that women are there now and that we can go in and we are here to stay. I'm Ian Musson. Uh, the company is Musson Engineering Limited. I work with my son Colin. He and I are the, the directors of that company. And uh, we do specialist engineering projects, not run-of-the-mill things nor mass production things. In fact, we sometimes joke that we only do the things that people can't buy at Tesco's. It has to be slightly unusual for us to be involved as a rule. And this project is definitely unusual. We knew that it had to be subdivided into several different sections because a number of different disciplines were going to be involved in its manufacture. To that end, we decided which pieces were going to be made from aluminium, stainless steel and various other things, and also how those were going to be produced. Having gone through that, we were able to choose a range of subcontractors whose equipment was best suited to some of those operations, like laser cutting, water jet cutting, heavy folding and various other things. My name is Michael Scott with Westcat Engineering. We're currently undertaking a job on behalf of the House of Parliament sculpture. We are fortunate enough here to have a water jet machine. It cuts with a mixture of water and sand. We work with a lot of artists and we find each job is completely different to the last. So this particular piece, we're using 10 mil thick 6082 aluminium. It's compiled of 33 individual pieces and it's gonna take us between 10 and 12 hours to produce. The symbol for women is the circle and the cross and what I wanted to do was to reinforce the, uh, the totality of the artwork by having many crosses between the uh, glass circles and that reinforces the whole symbolism for the women's movement and the power of women within the artwork. We are today at J&S Laser Profiles Limited. We've worked with them for many years. We prepare the drawings in fine detail on the computer. The trust between the two companies is such that when we send the computer information through, they don't literally have to examine it. They're able to feed that straight into some of their machinery. So we've already done the expression of the coordinates and so on. And they are then able to feed that to their machinery and use the laser cutters and folders to produce exactly what we require. And this particular project involved a number of quite difficult forming and cutting operations, which they've been able to deal with very well. From the very beginning, we were both very pleased indeed to be involved. It's a, it's a project we believe in anyway, and we thought Mary's concept was absolutely first class and to try and find a way of dealing with the engineering in such a way that in no area did it adversely affect the artwork or its aim. I hope we've, to a, to a degree, achieved that. Not always easily. We're here in this warehouse um, putting in the temporary installation of New Dawn. So this is the first time we see it all together. The temporary installation is really important because it allows us to practice the installation but also to program New Dawn because the lighting is something that has to be programmed by the artist to make sure it's going to look like she wants it to. And so we can do it here at leisure before we do the proper installation. Today we have been putting up 
the first of the LED panels, um, which is uh, a fairly key moment for us to make sure that the wiring that we've put in place is correct and that it works. We've got 168 of these panels to install and so there are twice as many wires coming out uh, and it has been a, a day whereby we uh, plugged everything in and it all worked the first time which was uh, pleasing and obviously exactly how we planned. <laughs> This is a very large piece of art. It's not just a large painting on canvas, which are difficult enough to install, but this has got an electricity supply, a computer supply. It's made of metal and glass. Glass is obviously very fragile. The pieces of metal are huge. These are very long pieces of metal. So trying to get all of that to this very high up installation site, way above a doorway, right at ceiling height, at the end of Westminster Hall, is going to be very challenging. It's something that we want to get right, and so practicing here really allows us to work out all the difficulties and solve them all. The moment when I realized that this was actually uh, a piece of art and not just the technical challenge which I've enjoyed doing is when we saw all the pieces of glass laid out on the floor and just the stunningness of them and comparing it with the photographs that had inspired Mary back when she was doing the research for the piece, you, you suddenly completely got it, it just made sense. I've been working with a team of people for the last two weeks and so we've got the structure on the wall now. I started a year and a half ago with some drawings. Even though it's, it's always felt like my piece of work, I've had to consult and work with the, the, the metal engineers and the um, lighting designer and different manufacturing processes to actually create this. So we've gone away from the concept and looked at the detail of every, you know, every nut and bolt has been thought about. It's the first time that I've been able to see all the parts together. As the build goes on, I feel more and more relaxed because I'm beginning to see my artwork coming together again. The, the, the glass work was fantastic to see all in position, but then it's only when we got the light sheet behind it and we actually started putting light through them that the colours are just so vibrant and lovely and they completely change and we've got five panels up at the moment there are 163 more to go when they're in place it's just going to be breathtaking just can't wait it's going to be stunning